What's up, Glam by Am Squad? What's up, Glam by Am Squad? Welcome. How I forget what I say? Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And I'm by myself, so why is it embarrassing? Hey, Glam by Am Squad. Welcome. Oh my gosh. Gosh! Hey Glam by Am Squad, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all those who are new and welcome back to everyone who has been joining me on this journey. Today I'm bringing you a review and a little mini tutorial on the brand new Makeup Geek Fall Collection shadows. I would have a pretty Z palette to show you but I ordered it and it is not here yet. It's okay, I cannot wait because it's not about the packaging that is gonna go in, it's more so about the colors that are in my hand. Makeup Geek launched a total of I believe 18 shadows. I got half of them. I got kind of their signature collection and then they have their foiled shadow collection but foiled isn't really my thing. I like my mattes and shimmers and um, just kind of a little more toned down. That's more my thing. So I got about half of their collection here. So we are going to jump in. I'm going to do a review, show you how they swatch on brown skin and also show you this little mini tutorial that I created on my eyes. So yeah, if you guys just want to see the breakdown on these Makeup Geek shadows, then you just keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you go today. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, so this is the first color and it is called Faux Fur. I don't know if you guys can actually see the names there. So let's go ahead and unbox this together. And that is this beautiful kind of taupey brown. It's definitely a brown with a cooler undertone. And we will go ahead and do a swatch. The formula seems a little different. It seems a little more creamier. Make sure you guys can see. So that is faux fur. Very pretty. I really like this color. Next we have the color Lucky Penny. And that is this pretty shade right here. Again, I'll go ahead and swatch it. Ooh. Okay, so it's like a satin finish. This is very pretty. You can definitely tell they enriched this formula because it's so creamy. It seems like it's going to be so blendable. Like it feels so good. So that's Lucky Penny. So the next shade here, and this is Bake Sale. And this is my first time seeing all these colors as well. So this is new for me, just like it is for you guys. So this is really a warm, warm color here. Let's just go on the other side of my tattoo. This is not going to show up as much because it's kind of like my skin color. This is definitely a transition shade. And I really love it for that. I can tell I'm going to love it because this reminds me of Frappe, but definitely just like with warmer undertones, a little bit darker here. So it'll be great for a transition color. So I love that. It's the next shade and this is called Pocket Change. And that's Pocket Change right there. Very pretty light brown. Probably has a shimmer finish. And the brush that I'm using to swatch you guys is a Morphe M204. Yeah, definitely a shimmer finish. Very pretty color here. Just has that nice like sheen. These are like perfect shimmers for the daytime. Hope you guys can see. So I love how like soft these are. I love the formula. I love the color choices, of course. You know me and neutrals are best friends. So moving right along, we have this shade here and this is called Sidekick. So this is Sidekick right here. Yeah, it definitely looks like Coco Bear's little sister. So let's see how it swatches. Let me get closer so you guys can see. So it's definitely a reddened brown shade. Again, perfect for that warm transition color that a lot of people look for. You can definitely build it up. So that's that, very pretty. The next shade here that we have is Tan Lines. I've heard some great things about this shade, so I am excited to try it. And that is Tan Lines right here. They could have put this together in a palette and named it The Perfect Transition. That would have been actually a very cute name for a palette. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna have to build it up. Again, another transition like shade, a warmer undertone. Let's get some more on the brush. 
This will definitely be like a my skin tone type transition. It is nice, but I think I like this shade a little bit more. So the next shade that I'm working with is called Bandwagon, and it looks like a grayish brown. Definitely a light color here, if I can get it in my hands correctly. So that's Bandwagon. Okay, that's really light. I would have to definitely put that on top of the base. You guys may not even be able to see on camera. That's probably going to be, again, another blending shade to diffuse out a darker color. As you can barely see, like it's a nice light, light, light gray. So yeah, this is, this is definitely transition colors and blending colors. They're definitely staples, but they're not like that main wow factor. But for someone like me who likes neutrals, it's just fine. So this color here, this nice deep color, is called Cabin Fever. Kind of looks a little bit like Americano. And that's that shade there. Go ahead and get it on our brush. And let's put it a little closer on the wrist. Yeah, that's a pretty deep shade. That would be so nice, like in the outer V. I really like that. I like the red undertone it has too. That's definitely one of my favorites right there. And last but not least, the last color we have here is Early Bird. And that's Early Bird. We're going to put it right here. Oh, that's definitely a lot brighter than I expected that to be. That is a bright, like, tangerine orange. Very pigmented. That's a lot of pigment coming out of that color. So yes, this completes the, I should say, the main collection of Makeup Geeks fall colors that they just launched. They launched um, some foiled shadows, but you know, those aren't really my thing. I prefer colors like this, nice and warm, neutral, everyday colors. And that's how it looks on my skin tone. And again, for reference, my color is NC45 in MAC. Coco Light and Marc Jacobs. In most brands, you can find that my shade name will be Caramel or Mocha or Toffee. That's usually the shade names. It's just to give you guys a little bit of an idea here. So yeah, that's that. Okay, so I wanna show you guys a little mini tutorial here on how easy and blendable these are. First, I'm just taking tan lines on a blending brush and just going across my crease. Next, I'm taking Cabin Fever and I'm just deepening up my crease with this beautiful warm chocolate color. Here I am taking the shade Lucky Penny on a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just putting this on the length of my whole lid and creating a look is just that easy with three shades and two brushes. So for a little extra glow in the inner corners, I'm going to take the shade Night Light in the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights Highlight Palette and just add a little glow. And I'm going to tight line my eyes, pop on some mascara, and you're good to go. This was so easy. If you recreate this look or any look that I do, be sure to tag me on my social medias below so I can check you out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave here today. Click on my links below so you can check out my website, check out my Facebook, check out my Instagram, check out my Snapchat, check out every single social thing that I do because I do quite a bit. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.